All right, so Conor McGregor is officially back. Now, I'm giving this its own segment. It's not going to be a long one, but here's the deal. UFC 229 on October 6th, Conor McGregor versus Habib Nurmagomedov in Las Vegas for the lightweight title. The fight was announced at the UFC 25th anniversary press conference on Friday. Did you see it? No. Okay, so it was immediately after Nate Diaz's return against Dustin Poirier was announced on or for November 3rd at Madison Square Garden as a non-headline fight. Diaz was late for the press conference. He didn't say much. During the promo video announcing McGregor and Habib, he storms off the stage and he leaves the event. He tweeted, I'm not fighting on that show, F the UFC. And then people interviewed him outside, and he told them that the UFC better start treating him right. They better start promoting him right. He said that they even picked him up late for the press conference. So does Diaz have a point here? I mean, yeah, he's definitely getting pushed to the back burner over McGregor. So, I mean, it's I, could, a, I now, could see where that would get under somebody's crawl. They've got him ranked as the number 10 uh, guy in his division. And he's at the 170-pound division, yeah. which, whatever that's called now. Um, but it, I think that he, I think he's got a very good point because he made them a lot of money. And he told them the only way that he was coming back was if he got McGregor 3. Yeah, because they're one and one, and then they th- and he thinks that he won that last one. Yeah, but either way, he was coming back because he wants to finish this up with McGregor. Well, they told him McGregor's not coming back. You know, we need you to do this, and then they announce the McGregor fight right after they announce him coming back. So McGregor completely overshadows Diaz's return, which I think they did on purpose. I would imagine that was done on purpose. So back to McGregor. We talked about this back in February. How many casual UFC fans knew who in the world Habib was before McGregor threw that dolly at the bus inside Barclays? I don't know that many of them know who he is today. And that's the thing. They made him such a a bigger name, like on ESPN, on everywhere else, because of what happened with McGregor getting arrested and coming after him because of what he did to Artem and, and everything else. So Dana White back then called it the most disgusting act in the history of the UFC. Now, do you remember what I said? No. It was a stunt that went overboard because they had to find a way to hype up Habib and make his name known to the casual fans. That way, McGregor would have a fight that was actually worth coming back for. Now, Dana White, calling or he's calling this fight the biggest MMA fight in history, and they are using clips from that, quote, disgusting incident as promo for the actual fight. With Diaz and McGregor back fighting, do you think of the UFC is officially back now? I don't know that it's officially back. Those fights will be good, and when those guys are not fighting, it will be back to what it's always been. This is the problem. It's a star-driven sport. When the stars aren't fighting, it's not as good. When the stars are, it's great. Yeah, I agree. Um, The only way that we don't get Diaz-McGregor 3, so if, if McGregor wins and Diaz loses, we don't get it. If Diaz wins and McGregor wins, we'll probably get it. If they both lose, we'll probably get it. If McGregor loses and Diaz wins, we're going to get it. So, like... Diaz has to win, we get it. Yeah. Diaz wins, we get the fight. Yeah. So, for those that... Bless you, buddy. For those that that aren't watching on YouTube, we have a a special guest on the podcast. My my three-month-old is now in here. So, uh... Well, we're going to close out on that. I, I'm looking forward to watching McGregor fight again. Uh, I think this will be a good fight. I, Habib is the betting favorite right now. And he probably should be. Yeah, he's, he's minus 130, if okay. I'm not mistaken. I mean, this guy knocks folks out. You got that right. Well, and he, and he, he knows how to grapple. I mean, yeah. he, he gets on the ground, man. So this, this ought to be fun, and I, I can't wait for Diaz's return if he's actually going to fight because God knows what's going to happen with that. Because he, I mean, he's straight up said, like, I'm not fighting anymore. Like forget that, so so we'll see what happens. But uh, but yeah, I think it's uh, if nothing else, it was a lot of interesting talk about UFC. Oh, and then of course uh, on Saturday night, I watched uh, T.J. Dillashaw absolutely destroy Car- uh, Cody Garbrandt, and I don't think anybody really cares. I didn't know there was a UFC fight. It was a great fight, but I don't think that many people care, and that's the problem. That's right? the problem. So. So hopefully McGregor coming back, Diaz coming back, that will uh, that will give people something to talk about in this sport, especially now that ESPN has uh, has signed on. All right, let's uh, let's move on.